Let's start here with a big number that we are keeping an eye on. That number, check it out there. 20,000 COVID-19 related hospitalizations across the U.S. holding steady at under 20,000, but those daily declines diminishing in the past two weeks. All right, and, and Dr. Jen, there is a big headline now about a COVID-19 vaccine for children under five. Sounds encouraging, what's the latest? Yeah, um, you guys, this was big news uh, at the end of the day yesterday coming from the drug maker Moderna. They announced the interim results of their clinical trials in children actually under six years of age. They upped the age uh, limit a little bit and down to six months of age on the COVID-19 vaccine. This was data they collected during the Omicron surge, so that's important. And it's estimated efficacy, and I want to underscore that word estimated, was 38 to 44 percent in reducing or preventing any infection whatsoever. What's interesting is they were unable to estimate the efficacy at preventing severe illness or disease because there was none in the Omicron surge in this age group. However, good news, there were no deaths, no adverse events, uh, mild side effects similar to that which we've seen in adults, and there were no cases of that myocarditis uh, inflammation of the heart muscle. So if it goes well with Moderna, they could request emergency use authorization from the FDA in the next couple of weeks. Pfizer also collecting their three-dose regimen data. So it's possible, if all these hurdles are cleared, that we could see children in this age group be offered or eligible for the vaccine early in the summer. All right. Well, Dr. Ash, we appreciate the update. Hope you're enjoying LA. We'll see you soon. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.